Hi, you're welcome to Let's Talk Showbiz here on the Joy News Channel. My name is Doreen Avio. And, well, um, yesterday we brought you some updates of events that happened over the weekend. But today we are up and I can tell you that there's a lot going on. Shatawale has been trending in the news for, you know, some issues with some contractors. I'll bring you updates on that. And also over the weekend, MIME Africa Awards was officially launched uh, with the likes of our Gianni, Kwesi Oteng, Pascal Amanfo, and others. And also, Vivica Fox uh, has been saying something about 50 Cent. He seemed, she seemed to be excited for him. And this time, it has nothing to do with any fight or any, anything of the sort. So, just stay tuned as I bring you all this update here on Let's Talk Showbiz. <laughs> Well, if you're just joining me, this is Let's Talk Showbiz, and I'm Doreen Avio. And as I mentioned earlier, so since yesterday and today, Shatawale has been trending for some various reasons. And per the rumor going around, it's because uh, apparently when he was leaving to the United States, he left some money with some contractors to do some work on the road. But unfortunately, when he came back, the work was not done. So there were some issues here and there. But this morning on Daybreak Hits, per the rumor that he paid some money to contractors, he told Andy Dusty that he never paid any money to them. Let's hear Shatawale on this whole issue, talking about the contractors and the fixing of that road. Well, Shatta, hold on. Um, uh, Shatta, what, what was the agreement you had with the, with the contractor? Did you pay him any money to fix Andy, the road? Andy, when I was talking, I presented my case. That guy I paid anybody. What I'm saying, don't you get Andy? Sometimes you're already saying yes, you're cacao. What no, I no, no. Oh, don't, don't, please, don't use those words. Don't, don't. No, these are no, unprintable words. Don't say that. Because you, you must be clear. When you were speaking, you were so Andy, much angry Andy, going on and on Andy, and on. Please. Andy, 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 when I'm talking, listen to me. You see the but what makes you think I'm not listening to you? You see, you see, so that's what I'm saying that when I was making my presentation, I didn't make a presentation saying I paid so much. So don't bring in this into me. The, that's why I am asking. If you had mentioned it, I wouldn't have asked again. But I am asking you, since you didn't mention it, that's why I'm asking. I didn't say, did you say, I'm asking you. Hello? Yeah, no, I said no. I'm telling you, I said no. Okay, right. Right, so that was Shatawale earlier today on Daybreak Hits. But meanwhile... We're hearing that, uh, well, the contractor and his people are demanding a public apology from Shatawale uh, for, you know, assaulting them. I heard one of the team members has been hit by Shatawale. They are not too happy about it. And Shatawale is also supposed to report to the police station, but we're hearing his father has asked them to hold him. He'll personally bring him to the police station. So, as and when there are any updates on Shatawale, we'll definitely bring it right here on Let's Talk Showbiz, here for you. Yes, please. At the East Legon Police Station. So, what are they saying? Um, They are still processing. So, I think they are going to Shatter's place to arrest him. They are going to his place to arrest him? Um, I don't know the details. But I think they are processing. They are, they are putting their processes together. In case nothing happens, what will you do? The law must work. No, the law must work. You see, it's happened several times. So when you say, in case nothing happens, what if I had this and I'm all right, I'm speaking to you today as though I haven't sustained any injury. What if somebody loses a life? Do we wait till somebody loses a life? Do well, we wait well, well, well can, can I, you, you, do you know the that? reason I'm asking that? Because you said earlier that he had done certain things and had gone scot-free. You, exactly. me you, you mentioned it earlier. So that's why yes. I'm asking that in case nothing happens and this time he goes cause free. This time around something must happen. That's why we need you, the media. We need the police. The agency response, which is the department of several roads, they are all also involved. They know what is on ground. So this shouldn't be left. And this is the time where we have, we want to develop this country. So such things should not, I can honestly tell you, this is going to deter a lot of people from actually being committed. If nothing is done about this, what we've tried to put standards up there. We're actually doing some overlays within the enclave. And so we started last week. And on Friday, we started the Shamukwe Avenue, which has a link from Shatawale's property. I learned that this office has a link from his office, which joins the Shamukwe Avenue. So before we got there, his people, I mean his team, some of his guys came to me within the week last week to ask if we could do something about their road. And we emphatically stated 
that we do not deal privately with individuals concerning public roads. And so whatever the case be, they should lobby through Department of Urban Roads, which is the agency responsible for the project. I made that clear to them. And so they were in the known. So we started Friday and we continued yesterday, which is the 31st of May. And normally what we do, because of the high standards we work with, we always try to enforce high level of safety measures on our side. So we normally put in barricades and recording our sites where we do work. And with that, we make room for diversions. We provide diversions so as to make sure that wherever we find ourselves working, we've actually made room for safety and ensure that safety is in place. So just yesterday when we were working, within the hours of 10 a.m. and then 11 a.m., um, there was this black Land Cruiser, which had no number plate, so I'm assuming it's unregistered, that drove through the barricade. And I think I would want to use this opportunity to actually show where it actually happened. So if you are from American House towards Port Belly, you meet an Allied filling station on your left just before you get to Port Belly. Just before the Allied station, there is this Presbyterian church on your right. The junction right after the Presbyterian church was where the incident took place yesterday. Just at that junction, between the hours of 10 and 11, he drove into the um, asphalt where still work was ongoing. He drove into the work we were doing, and he parked on the asphalt, which was freshly laid. And he got out of the car and then came up at the guys to halt work. They should stop the work. Who asked them to go ahead to work when they haven't done his road? So my guys were startled. I mean, my team guys were scared and startled because, you know, it's Shatawali. He's been doing this for some time and he's been going scores free. So everyone was scared. And as the engineer on site, and the project manager, I asked them to move the machine and continue the work and disregard whatever he's saying. So the moment I made that statement, that to continue the work and move the machine, he came at me, verbally assaulting me. He assaulted me verbally, and then he walked off while his driver still drove on the freshly laid asphalt. This happened between 10 and 11. Right, so that's it on Shatawa.